Hi, Hi Floss Tube. Tube. I'm Rolanda. And I'm Kylie. And, and welcome to Rose, Rose Crafty, Crafty Corner. Corner. This is our first ever, uh, what would you call it? Floss, Floss Tube. Tube. <laughs> you know, we're, we're new at this, so please, please bear with us. We'll probably make a few mistakes, but hey, that's how you learn, right? Exactly. Uh, to, we decided to make this Floss Tube uh, channel because we want to share our love of cross stitch and other crafts with you guys and we hope that you'll share your love of it with us as well we're both crafty however i want to say i'm a little more crafty Definitely. than Kylie. um we've both been crafting for many many years and we had this brilliant idea to do this because we watch floss tube just like you guys do and we were like Let's challenge ourselves. Let's do this. Let's you know, like we can it. do this. Surely it's not that hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been planning this for a little while and um, 2024 is now the year for us to do it. Do you want to add anything to that? No. No? <laughs> uh, well, we will be primarily uh, cross to the Cross Stitch channel. Uh, we will occasionally have other crafts as well uh sometimes i do a bit of diamond painting or knitting you and do i do various other things <laughs> lots of other things so i have quilting i have sewing i have crochet i do a little bit of diamond painting uh what else do i do english paper piecing a lot of hand uh hand sort of sewing you know uh, there's lots of bits and pieces it's basically whatever takes my fancy if i if I feel like I'm interested or I see someone who's doing it and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm keen to find out what all that's about, then I'll take it on and then I'll try it and if I like it, I'll stick with it. And if I don't like it, I'm like, that's okay too because I've done it and, you know, that's not for me. Got to try these things. Yeah. So I'm sure you'll, you'll get to know us very well and you'll see all of our projects and mishaps and maybe some bloopers along the way too. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so Kylie and I have known each other um, for probably, what, it's over a, a year. Of, yeah, a bit over so, 18 months. Yeah, over probably over. around 18 months, I'd say. Over, yeah. And uh, we get along like a house on fire. We pretty much say that we're sisters from different parents, <laughs> you know, um, and we think alike. Uh, we don't sound alike, um, but we do a lot of the same things at the same time and read each other's minds. So, um I don't know what else to add to that, do you? <laughs> I don't think anything else needs to be added yeah. to that. So today is going to be, I'm going to be showing my whips um, because I haven't actually worked on any of them this year so far. I finished off one from last year, um, which I can't show because it, it's a birthday present. And <laughs> <laughs> it's I, all good. I've been warned. <laughs> she knows it's coming. She just doesn't yeah. know what it is. So I can't show that one. Uh, and I did a new start for you know, the new year, I guess. And so I'm going to just show the whips from last year that I was working on that will carry over into this year. And, and then I will show my new start as well. So should we get straight to it? We should. Can I just add uh, for our second one, uh, we will be showing my whips. So this time we're concentrating on Kylie's whips because she has less whips than I do. And we don't want to make it like a super long video for the first yeah. video. So uh, yeah. in our second video, we'll be showing my whips. And, and it will then, probably be longer. Yeah. Because there's a lot more. <laughs> so you'll need a good good drink for that one. Yeah. Um, have, and you, then, have your cup already. <laughs> and then we'll continue on from there. But we'll let you know what's happening down the track. Yeah. Okay, let's so go. We are looking at doing these videos fortnightly. So Correct. We will see how we go. But yeah. that is the plan. That's the plan. All right. So. Where do we start? We are starting with one that I started at the beginning of last year. This was from a free challenge group and pop that on the board to hold that up. Sorry, we haven't ironed <laughs> anything. We will do that I'm in the I'm still future. working on it and so, yeah, it will. Um... So this one was um, free mini bobbins that were um, being sent out for the year. Now I have made some changes, um, obviously, because the first one that was sent out was July. for, I'm just trying to, yeah, there it is. 
I don't know which one it is. I just okay. had to find it. Um, so it was sent out um, in a, a free cross stitch free cross stitch challenge group. Uh, run by Amanda from Creatively Crafting and she is in Canada I believe so the first one she sent out they, there was one for each month of the year and then there was a few bonus ones the first one she sent out was a winter one because obviously for January which is you know first spot up there um, it is winter, winter in January in Canada and the United States and here, of course, it is in, in Australia where we are, and particularly in Brisbane, it's quite warm in January. So I moved that bobbin to the July spot because it will be winter in July. Uh, and then I put one of the other ones, and I can't honestly remember. I think it was the one she sent for July was the one I put in January because it's you know, like summery with a cocktail and a hat and sunnies. And, um and I did move a few other ones around. Uh, she put out a birthday one in April for her birthday, but I moved it to June because that's when my birthday is. And <laughs> some of the bonus ones, this uh, this one here was a bonus one uh, for World Cross Stitching Day. Um, so I popped that one in there and moved a few other bits and pieces around. She, uh, Yeah, I think this one was out for September because school starts in Canada and the United States in September um but i put the b one in september because that was said spring to me which is yeah so i did move a few things around um i used my own colors as well so um that one was going on all of last year and she finally released the last bobbin on what was new year's day here so I couldn't, unfortunately, get it finished in 2023. So I will be intending to finish that one before we come back and talk to you guys again. So awesome. That one. And that was lots of fun too. It was um, good fun waiting was, to see what came out each month. Yeah, we we both did that one. Um, I'm not a big fan of fractional stitches though. So <laughs> She you does know. do a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. And if you do want that pattern, it is available for purchase now. From her Etsy store. Yes. Yeah. This one is another one from the same designer. I'm trying to go. Yeah, that way. Yep. Perfect. Um, this was, if you purchased the planner that she put out in her shop, um, then you would get these patterns. So I bought the physical planner. Uh, it was my first time using a cross-stitch planner. And it was good. It was interesting. Um, again, with this one, I did have to make some changes, again, because she had a winter theme for January and a summer. Well, I can't remember what she had in July, but I changed a few things around. And part of the challenge that she does um, required certain things. So um, I know in February there was one about so, um, two hearts and love initials. So I put mine and my husband's initials in there parts there um we had to use um what is it etoile a 12 thread so i used a little bit just in the um daffodil there april had to have a raindrop uh may needed a butterfly and and a bee so i just added them into the existing design and june i personally had again my birthday so i put a cake and a um a present in there so basically, and some of the words I changed to, like August, I changed the, the word to month of inspiration. I can't remember what she had in her one. A uh, month to disconnect or something, I think. So I mm, think that's the I holidays over there. Mm. So um, again, I did make a few changes to things in this one. And unfortunately, I didn't keep up with it in the last part of the year. So I do have three months left to put on there and that will be, one I want to, I'm wanting to finish fairly soon too. So once I've finished the bobbin, uh, I will move on to trying to finish this one. Perfect. And again, you used all your own colours in this one, or did you? Use I I used most of the cold for DMC colours. There were a few that I did change because uh, some of the um, some of the prompts were to use certain some of the colors. prompts were to use certain DMC numbers. So I tried to incorporate them in here. And some of the bits and pieces that I added, like the cake and the present and so on, I changed yep. um, to just use whatever colours I felt like using at the time. Awesome. So that was the 
planner. So that is 70.1% complete. Almost um, there. Sorry. Almost there. Almost there. So, yeah, only, <laughs> only three more months to go on on that one, which I think each one was taking me around two weeks to, to fully finish um, the month. So it shouldn't take me too long once I get mm. back onto it. The other thing you'll notice between us is um, Kylie gets a lot of stitching done in a short amount of time because she doesn't have a lot of time to sit down and stitch because mm. she has a family. Whereas I can pretty much stitch most most at most days, nearly every day, um, for a long time. So sometimes I'll get a lot done. Sometimes I'm going to get a little done, depending on how I'm feeling. But we are at different points, so you'll see the progress of things that we do together, like projects we do together, but at different points. And this is another one that she's actually got now. So. Um, so this particular one is a Victorian charm. It is a dimensions kit. Do you want me to hold it? And it, no, it's all right. Um, we decided to start this one together at the start of 2023. And we this did. is how far I got in the year. So I'm at 36.3%. And we'll insert a picture here above my face of what it looks like when it's finished. Uh, so... I, yes, I'm at 36.3% on that one, so just over a third of the way. You're a lot further along than I am. <laughs> and I've seen other people doing this one and they are a lot further along than what I am. So <laughs> It's a beautiful um, pattern, though. It really it is, is. It is. Um, it has a lot of uh, half stitches and blended threads and things that take a bit of concentration, so it's not one I tend to take out and about with me when I go to any... Um, craft groups or you know stitchy meetups or anything so um, but I am enjoying doing that and I would like to get some more progress done on that so aiming for 50 percent on that one at least this year mm. uh, we will see how I go since I'm not too far off it really yeah um, and that one there is um, not a full coverage piece as such but it is almost full coverage it's fairly solid yeah yeah Speaking of full coverage pieces, this is my first ever full coverage piece and it is called Hedwig and it is from Tilton Crafts. And again, we'll insert a picture here of what it looks like. So that doesn't look like a real lot. Um, if, you, if you look closely, you can see the uh, start of the Hogwarts castle just down there. Um, and that one is only at 8%. And I'm doing that on 22 count Ada with the DMC called Four Colours. And that was a fabric that I had in my stash. My lovely neighbour gave me her uh, old cross stitching stuff because she no longer cross stitches. She has just decided to go with her quilting. And I keep it in. Ta da! My Hogwarts bag. <laughs> <laughs> my Harry Potter bag, and, and there was a Harry Potter grime guard. If there was you a were, Harry Potter grime guard. If you on had there. good eyes, I have a little <laughs> Harry Potter um, bag. It's got Harry Potter needle ma needle minders on there, um, and I've got a Harry Potter zipper pull on the bag as well. Because uh, someone, Harry, just, I'm a Harry Potter fan. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not obsessed <laughs> like some people I know, but uh, I, I do quite like Harry Potter. So. Uh, the next one I have is Titanic and this one is a kit from Anchor and I picked this up off a freebie table at a retreat, cross-stitching retreat that I went to and once I started I kind of figured out why they put it on the freebie table. <laughs> <laughs> this one again uh, has some complicated stitches. Some are single thread, some are two threads. Uh, I think there may be some blended ones as well, and there's fractional stitches. And yeah, just in case you're wondering what these things are hanging, they're called bobbies. And basically, what they do is because Kylie parks her threads. She winds the rest of the thread inside it and then like snaps it shut and it holds the thread secure so they don't tangle and knot and so they don't get caught in the way. So, yeah. yeah. 
some of my bigger projects I do the parking method or my own version of the parking method I'm probably not doing it you know the official way but um it works for you that's all that matters it does work for me I, I'm quite enjoying it I honestly I picked it up off the freebie table and I thought to myself am I ever going to do this and I looked at it and I went you know what it's free so I took it Give it a go. And I have started it. Mm. Uh, and I am. And you're quite enjoying that because I. I do enjoy doing that You pick that it one. up quite often. But, well, I haven't picked it up for a little while. Mm. But it is, it's another one that I need to do at home where I can sort of concentrate a bit because of the, um, the patterns in black and white, which I always find a bit harder to, to use. But uh, because of the different types of stitches and yeah. the single threads and all the rest of it it's it's one I do at home when I have, requires when concentration I can, when I can have some concentration time yeah. and I that is at 5.2 percent although that's not necessarily 100 percent accurate because I have scanned it and uploaded into markup rxp which is the program I use for marking off my stitches as I go I uh, don't have a digital pattern of it so I've had to scan it myself and I still have yet to go through and adjust everything on all the pages so I've done the first three or four pages in markup just so I could get started on it and I think it's about eight pages long because I had to scan it in like a4 sections basically yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's yeah so it's about 5.2 percent um and it's on a 16 count ADA which came with the kit and the threads are anchor threads obviously because it was an anchor kit and they were all in there so um do you have a plan like you're just going to keep going i'm on just going to keep yep. going when i and feel like it finish when they finish yep um i have no set date to try and finish it or do anything okay um this is one that i bought the pattern as a pdf from etsy and oops sorry yeah. hang on let me fix that <laughs> um when I've saved it, it says it's called Christmas 3 and yep. then when I went to look back at it, it was Red Christmas or something. Um, it was from an Etsy store which was cross-stitched by Camellia. Do you and want me, do you want me to zoom in at the, all? No. So I have actually opted to do this in green. I picked up a bunch of threads from an op shop, which is Moon Brand, which is not one I was familiar with before. And I have decided to do, do it in the greens. So you can see from the pattern that I'll insert, the picture I'll insert, that it is done in red and white. So... I'm doing this on what was a napkin, I believe. It again came from my neighbor's stash that she gave to me and she can't remember what her plans were for it. But I thought this would fit in perfectly because it had the different squares in there. So one for each one. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to do any background or border or anything yet because the napkin itself does have um a different texture border so i may just do the the main um items in it and leave it at that i'll wait and see when i'm finished so i've got light green that i'm doing in the corners and if i have enough of the light green i'll do the middle one as well and then i've got a dark green to do the other ones so hopefully that'll turn out all right um uh, that one is at 21.9 percent based on not doing the background, but may have the border in it. So that one goes in this bag. <laughs> Who was that bag, bag made by? <gasps> made by Ro <laughs> from Rose Crafty Corner. <laughs> that was actually a birthday present, wasn't it? That one was, mm. yes. Yeah. Yes. And, I thought so. and it's a perfect size for fitting in my glove box. So if I'm out and about, I can stick that one in my glove box. And uh, you can travel along with you, and it can come with me. So if I've got to, you know, stop anywhere with the kids or wait for anything, I can pull that out. Because we all need a travel project. Yeah, that definitely. would be one piece of advice I would give to you. It doesn't matter whether it's crochet, whether it's something that you're hand sewing, whether it's a stitching project, 
something, something crafty because you never know when you're going to get stuck at the doctors and wait or waiting for the kids at school or sports or whatever. You know, whatever the case may be, you know. It is handy to yeah. have a travel. Um, you never know. Project. You get 10 or 20 stitches in a short time it or all adds up. maybe longer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Geranium Fairy and it was designed by Cicely Mary Barker. And this was, I'm stitching it on a 14 count iridescent DMC pre cut. So pretty. Look at the, the sparkle. It does and the sparkle. Fabric. I'm not sure if that's yeah. going to show up very well. But um, now, this one, the pattern and the floss came in a kit that Ro found at an op shop. She sent me a message and said, Did I want it? I said, Yeah, sure. Um, because there was this one in a companion there was. piece as well. Yep. Uh, in the same style and unfortunately when I actually opened it up and went to get started on it there was no fabric <laughs> there was just the, and I, the I didn't, floss and I the didn't pattern that. yeah no I really didn't notice because she didn't open it up yeah uh, and it was also missing the key <laughs> now I, thankfully because of Facebook groups I was able to put a picture up of the um not of the actual pattern but the cover, know, photo. cover photo mm -hmm. uh, and say did anyone have it I'm just looking for the key because I had the pattern and thankfully there was a lovely person who posted the key for me. Because so. it's kind of important. You need the key to be able to tell what colours, what symbols are. Yes, and because she it had the sharing. threads in there. Yeah, you had um, the pattern, you just didn't the have pattern. the key. Yeah, I had the pattern and the threads. That was it. Yeah. So, yes, thankfully I was able to get hold of the key and I just um, decided to use the iridescent mm fabric just to add a bit of sparkle because mm. the fairies need a bit and of sparkle. And it is pretty. It is pretty. Uh, so I am going to stitch the companion piece, which I can probably pull it up a picture of as well, and I'm going to stitch that on the iridescent fabric as well. Um, that one, I think when I got it, was just the pattern in it. I don't think it had anything else, it. but it did mm. have the key. Yeah. <laughs> so I have and to then, uh, come up with my own And your plans cloth. for that are to sort of sit them beside each other? Yeah, I wanted mm. to put them side by side because, yeah. you know, one's facing one way and one's facing yeah. the other way and I thought that would look very cute yeah, with would. them sitting together. So I have not done much of that one, but we will get there. Yeah, of course. Uh, this one is an 80s movies stitch along that Ro and I both bought. Mm -hmm. and This was an impulse buy, I think. Well, not necessarily. I was eyeing it off for a little while. and Well, it was more impulse on my on my, on my well, yeah. yeah, and yeah. And you pushed me in the yeah. end over well, the line. So <laughs> We enabled each other. <laughs> I, I was looking at it because I really liked the look of it. Uh, at the time, I think only the frame had been released. Correct. And... Yep. I obviously haven't done a lot of it. This is the centre of the frame and then there will be boxes all around the outside of it where you can put in the different movies. That... So we'll, we'll show you that here, what the frame, the frame looks like. Yes, I'll put that up. And as I go, I will uh, show you the movies I have chosen. Correct, because it's like a choose-your-own-adventure. You can choose your own movies. Yes. So when she released it, she released... Uh, it was weekly. No, it wasn't weekly. It was every few days, I think. Yeah. This, I think this it was, was from Atomic Tiki Pins, if anybody mm. is interested. I believe you can still buy it. Yes, on Etsy. On Etsi uh, as, a, as a full project, whereas when we bought it, it and was part, of the reason, we... part of the reason that we did buy it when we did, mm. instead of waiting until the end, was because the price was lower before it actually officially started. And then... Each time she released the movies, the price went up a little bit. So Correct. So when we bought it, we only knew about the frame. We actually didn't know what each movie what was going to look gonna like. Be. We waited for the movies to be released. Um, but because we're both 80s kids, we grew up watching highly watching of more movies. of the movies than what I did because it was so funny. <laughs> when the movies would come out, she would give you two options. So, you yes. know, let's say week one, for example, was this or this, right? And I'd be like, mm, I haven't seen I either think, of those I think movies. week one was, <laughs> week, I think the very first one was uh, Dead, Poet Society. Dead Poet Society and 16 Candles. Yes, I think I it think was. They, they came out together. Yeah. So you could choose which one you wanted to do depending on which one mm. you, and so, you liked. 
I had seen Dead Poet Society, but it had been many, many years. I'd never seen 16 Candles. So we made the decision to start watching the movies together. We didn't get very far. We didn't, no. <laughs> and there was a lot of movies that we didn't have access to either. Mm. So, um, but that was okay. We, we watched some of the movies together and um, then we could decide which ones we wanted to choose. Um, I'm Kylie's actually, actually I, you've decided which ones you're going to put in. I have planned mine all out. Mm. Um, and I've actually had to extend my border slightly mm -hmm. to fit them in. So, which I, is not hard to do. It's it, quite easy. It's not easy. hard to do because it is, mm. as you would have seen in the the picture when we put it up, that it is all just boxes. So mm. you can shift them around as you need. Mm. So what I plan to do is finish my centre part, do the inner border, and then stitch my movies, and then do the outer border yeah. around all of them to yeah. make sure that everything fits. That was the way I was going to attack it too because yep. I actually don't know what movies I'm putting in yet. I went through so, one, so I'm going to do my inner border, then decide which movies I want, and then, yeah, as Kylie said, you know, you can and always just the shift outer. them a, a little, little bit, bit across. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so. a little bit across, a little bit out, mm. you know, some of them because they are different sizes. Mm. Um, the and movies, then, and I chopped and changed because um, – what did she release? She released two at the same time and I'm like, I can't choose between those. <laughs> it was uh, The Breakfast Club and The Lost Boys, Lost I think, Boys, that came yeah, out I think at the same was, time. And I'm yeah. like, I love both of those movies. Mm. I can't choose between them. So I'm doing them both. Yep. So I just have to move things around a little bit to fit them in. So I'm actually really excited yeah. to see how different ours are. Yes. Depending on the movies that we choose. And because um, we've used different fabrics as well. So Kylie's used like a navy blue fabric. Whereas I hand dyed my own fabric and mine's more like a, what would you say, like an ocean blue? Yeah, it's a bit um, lighter and brighter mm. than the navy. Yeah. So, so it'll be interesting we'll see. to see because we're going to be both be using the same colours for the, the inner part and, and the frame, obviously. Yeah, so I'm using um, the called for DMC colours on this one. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how different they actually look. Yes, it will be and very exciting. So I was just we'll going to say. We'll have to get some work done. We will. We'll have I, to, again, I haven't touched this one for yeah, a while. Yeah, pull our needles to, out. I was trying to finish off some things uh, before the end of last year. So Also, just on just on the end of that, um, she brought out some alternative movies mm -hmm. um, at the end. So if you found that. Um, you didn't like any of the movies. Yeah, there were some different ones that you could replace you know, yeah, with those were, other there ones. There were two different booster packs? I think so, yeah, yeah. So. But they'll all be on the Etsy site. Yeah, you'll so be able to find them all on the Etsy When you go Etsy on there, I'm sure you'll find them. Atomic Tiki pins. And um, that's a 16 count navy that I'm using for that one. So, and then the last one I have to show was my new start. <gasps> the last one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, mine are over very quickly. Uh, so yes. this. This was just a little one that I got from a kit. Um, it was in a mystery bag, actually, and it was a little kit. And, again, I'll put up a little picture of what the finish will look like. But this one is at 66.6% .6 done, <laughs> and I only started it um, this week, actually. Yeah, just only a couple of days ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, a couple of days into the new year because yeah. I finished off the uh, gift one. <laughs> And then I started this one because I want to have it done before Valentine's Day, mm. which will come up very quickly as, you know, all these things do. So that was just a kit from Make It. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, And it's just called Love. And I'm using the colours that were in the kit and the fabric that was in the kit, which is a 14 count Ada. So basically all you've got left to do is the L, the little bit of yep. the O and the back stitch, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so there'll yeah. be an L in here and there's a little bit more to do through the O. You can probably see I've left some gaps there where I haven't filled in the colour yet. And then there is a small amount of back stitch, which I think is only down the L and the V. You'll see in the picture. Hmm. And it's just like big crosses. Yeah, basically. so so close to being finished. So, yeah, 66.6%. 66 it's only taken me... Like when did I start it? On the 3rd of January and today is the 5th. Mm. So it did help that I had a trip up to the Sunshine Coast and I was stitching in the car <laughs> while my husband was driving. So, I, you know, I was able to get, you know. You're one of these lucky ones <laughs> that can actually look down and stitch and then look back up. As long and, as I and... don't look down all the time, like, you know, I sort of put the needle through and then when I was pulling it, I was looking up and then I'd poke the needle through while I was pulling it, you know. I only looked to when I had to put the needle through mm. and then I'd glance up. Because yeah. I, I do get travel sickness, yeah. or at least I did when I was a kid. So, so that's all my whips. 
and that is how they've all started how many, this year. How many whips did you just start the year with? I think 10. Okay, and you finished one already? Well, I didn't include that one. Oh, you didn't Oh, no, actually, it. well, I did because yep. then this replaced it. Okay, gotcha. So I would still so be on 10. You're still on 10? I, I would still be on 10, I think. And that's a lot of whips for That's Kylie. a lot for me. I want to get that number down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whereas I'm like the opposite. I'm like, bring them on, bring it on. She likes a new start. <laughs> so, yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed Kylie's whip parade. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the start of the new year, because she has been busy on these ones. Yeah. Uh, so our plans for the next one is to show you my whips and my whip parade. Be prepared because that will be a lot longer. I have four times the amount of whips as what Kylie has. Yeah. Um, and we will try to get through them as, as quickly as we can. As quickly but <laughs> as, as, as accurately and thoroughly as we can. Yes. So I won't just be racing through them because I don't want to, you know, forget anything and then, you know, you're asking questions. and yeah. If you I, do have any questions mm. about any of my whips oh, yeah. or if you have any feedback on anything you would like to see us do yeah. uh, or that Feel we could free be to doing let better, us know. please leave a comment and yeah. uh, we will do our best to address it as yeah. quickly as possible. And if you've made it this far, can you please give us a like, <laughs> a thumbs up, um, share it with your friends because we do want to get this channel out there and thriving and uh, we know there's a lot of great people in this community and why not add a little bit more so and it, consider subscribing and uh, hit the little bell notification so that you will get notified when we upload our next video because mm -hmm. you'll want to know you'll want to see the next one <laughs> it'll be a busy one <laughs> <laughs> all right well i think that's all for now short for and today. sweet so we hope you all have a great fortnight before we see you next um stay safe be crafty do you want to add anything else no i think we've covered everything okay. for today so cool ciao for now, ciao for now.